Well, in the words of one shoe designer, life is short. Your heels should not be. Whoa, big fella. Kinky Boots is a celebration of both of those things, life and footwear. How'd you get me to do this? this <laughs> it, it wasn't that hard, right. actually. We've got the boots on. Here to explain why audiences love this show, performers Stephen Booth and Lindsay Nicole yeah. Chambers. Good Hi. to see you guys. Hi. Hi. First of all, I want to say I'm so disappointed. Neither one of us could get to the show last night. She was ill. I had Your wife was sick. sick. I know. Members. Uh, but I heard it was a great show. Yes. I know yes. we'll stay away. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> far away. Nice and healthy. You got a show to put on the rest yeah, of the yeah, uh, yeah. I, I heard the show was great. I, the crowd oh, was into it. The crowd, crowd was fantastic. Yeah. 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 Is every that. show different in that way because the crowd's different? Do you feed off of them? Yeah, every. And that's, and it's a fun show to bring around the country because it's an amazing show and we do always win them over in the end. Mm -hmm. But each crowd kind of takes its own path to get on board with us. Yeah. Uh, but last night they were on right away and, mm -hmm. and standing up before we were done. So yeah. we're taking a look at some of the boots coming through. Set, a, set the story up for us. What's the storyline behind that? Uh, well, that's, you just saw me there. I play Charlie Price. He's sort of been uh, handed, reluctantly handed uh, this legacy, his father's uh, shoe business, which is on the verge of bankruptcy. Uh, and and in, order, in, a, in a way to save this factory, he and, and Lauren, who Lindsay plays, uh, they sort of figure out uh, they, they have an idea for uh, finding a niche market and uh, they run into KTP there, Kyle, he plays Lola, they run into Lola and uh, Lola's in need of some sturdy stilettos uh -huh. and they all come together and, and uh, figure out a way to save this factory. What are the themes here? Because we know it's not, it's not just about shoes, right? This yeah. musical, what, is, yeah, what are some of the underlying themes? I think it's about being being who you are, being who you want to be, we sing about that. Mm -hmm. um, letting other people be who they want to be, you know, yeah. the mutual respect and, mm -hmm. and all of that that goes with it. And also just um, finding unlikely, fr you know, friends in an unlikely place. So you, you seem so different, but underneath, mm -hmm. you know, we're all the same, I yeah. think, is, is, is the main message. And when you can change your mind about somebody, you can really change the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. you don't have a successful Broadway musical without the music. Right. Uh, so the music, this, uh, the, mu the fans really love the music. Yeah, Cindy Lauper. Mm -hmm. Hello, music. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, you yeah. can't go wrong with that. Won a lot of awards mm -hmm. for this one too. So. No kidding. And some of them are recognizable because the the, the success that the musical has had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It becomes a little bit more mainstream. How mm -hmm. do you audition for this? It's not your first for either of you. No. So was no. the audition process unique in any way? I mean, it was unique in the fact that Cindy Lauper was sitting behind the table. Yeah, and so Harvey Firestein. Yeah, so there were definitely yeah. a lot of um, yeah. sweaty armpits. She was there. She was there. She was there. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So, so how do you, you prepare for it. something? How do you prepare for something like that? Well, same you know, way you always do. Yeah. I mean, they gave us they gave us the songs and the and the you know the dialogue to audition with. So yeah. this was a this was a good one. Mm -hmm. you know, Tell us about your your history. How did you get into the performing arts? Oh my gosh! Because I think about the younger people who are watching, right? And then they see somebody like you do. Doing so well. What did yeah. your track look like? I've been doing it since I was little. I mean, I think a lot of us, even if we weren't um, actually doing uh, community theater or something like that, you're always in the school choir, or the church choir, mm -hmm. or the church yeah. play, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, I think a lot of us have been doing it since we were really, really young. Yeah. You're um, just doing it on the But I went to stage. college. Yeah, I went to college for musical theater at Otterbein. Otterbein mm. University. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? Little plug in uh, Westerville, Ohio, outside okay. of Columbus, Ohio. Oh, great, <laughs> great. And uh, what about you? I. I, I didn't start super early in theater, but I was in a, I'm from a very musical family. Mm -hmm. I played uh, instrument growing up, and then I got into choir with my girlfriend and <laughs> in high school, and, <laughs> right. and then I found theater and fell in love with it and uh -huh. went to college. I actually went to college at UNLV in Las Vegas. Oh, great. Uh, uh, which was just And you made it out of it, right? I made it out of it. I didn't have any, you know, I didn't have a gambling problem or anything, so I was okay. <laughs> That's good, good for you. Steven, yeah. do you have to wear these boots throughout the course of the show? I might put them on at some point in the show, yeah, mm -hmm. but I don't yeah. have to wear them as long as some of these people in the show. I and mean, how what, would you, you describe think? the experience yeah, what, so that our viewers know what he's... As a male wearing something like this. Well, how do you feel right now? Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way you're sitting. Yeah. This, this isn't how you sit in these it's things. It's across right? your legs. You no. have to be like dainty. Like, here's the problem. You're not owning the boots. Well, they're, they're, I don't they know. He was over. walking around in them. I think they he owns them They go up over my knees. Steven, you know yeah. the issue with that. But I don't, but I don't, want, to, I don't want to tear them. Sit okay. up straight. Okay. They're leather. You're not going to tear them. what do I do? Cross your leg. Even at the ankle. Hold on. Get up there. There it is. There you go, but now. There it is. How's it going? Stuck.
<laughs> fabulous. Look uh, how fabulous. This is so much fun. These are great. Thank you for bringing these yeah, and letting us course. try them on. Thank it's you for both getting them on. This is great. <laughs> is this real leather or what is it? Yeah. That's real leather. That's mm -hmm. patent leather. Patent. Patent. And the ones, you know, we the ones that we wear in the show, I yeah. mean, these are our, our press boots, but the ones that we wear in the show are literally every inch of our, our leg. They're custom, custom fit to made. every oh, inch of our foot or leg. So, yeah, I mean, at so first really putting them... So really, kind of the most comfortable heel heels we are ever going to wear. First, well, yeah. At first, they're first. blisters and, like, you but don't think they fit right. See, well, boys don't know that. That's the thing. Boys are like, this is so uncomfortable. Know, and you're I, like, yes, I put these on. Pain. I feel like well, I could do cartwheels in these. Yeah. They're, they're well balanced. Well, there's yeah. some good support, you know. There's some good support around the ankles. However... I would yeah. say, like, sitting in them is one thing, a kick line or yeah, all we don't these production really sit numbers. In them, so. No, that's <laughs> no. a different story yeah. altogether. It takes a lot of talent to do what you do um, and to do it on stage, to have the caliber of a show like this in Omaha. We don't take it for granted. Oh, we thanks. don't. It's terrific. On now, uh, last night was opening night. You'll be able to see Kinky Boots through Sunday at the Orpheum. Do you know much about the story of how Cindy uh, created these songs? Um, you know, I don't it, really. I know she. Well, I mean, I know that you know. There, obviously, this is based on a movie that was mm -hmm. that was made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came out in two thousand four. I, I don't know how the initial As idea. Kind of I do know, know that yeah, every. We'll, we'll yeah, right. Let's yeah. just have a chat about it. I do know that she um, kind of honed in on like a specific. Uh, sort of genre or a specific sort of voice for mm -hmm. each character. So each character's songs are are you know specific to that character. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're true. Well, yeah. For our viewers out there, they don't have tickets. They can still get tickets. Just go to Ticket Omaha. Dot com to Thank see you. kinky boots. Thanks for Good having me. We appreciate you being yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks All right. for now we gotta take Stephen, thanks for bringing in your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you guys. Looking All right. Good. There are just two